Istanbul, earlier known as Constantinople and Byzantium, this city is at the epicenter of global trade and is at the crossroads between Europe and Asia. This is your host Rohan and today let us see why Istanbul is one of the most strategic cities in the entire world. Before we go into the video, let us run into some facts. Number 1. Istanbul is the only pan-continental city in the world situated on two continents, Europe and Asia. Number 2. While not the capital, Istanbul is Turkey's largest city with more than 15 million people. Number 3. Tulips, the icon of Poland, originated in Istanbul and were sent from Istanbul to the Netherlands. Number 4. The Grand Bazaar is the biggest old covered bazaar in the world with over 3000 shops of all kinds. Number 5. Istanbul was recognized as the most jam-packed city on the earth which was in 1502. Number 6. Istanbul has the third oldest subway in the world built in 1875. Now let's get back to the video. Let's see its geography which plays a key role for the city's success. To the south of Istanbul lies the Marmara Sea and to the north is the Black Sea. The western part of the city is in Europe and the eastern part is in Asia. The vital water course that divides Istanbul is a Bosphorus. As a seaport, it is both the closest Asian city to Europe and the closest European city to Asia. Istanbul's importance rests on its strategic importance in a commercial sense. Now, let us look into its history. The city was founded by the ancient Greeks in 667 BC and they called it Byzantium. The city then became a part of the Roman Empire where it became a prosperous part of the empire. In 330 AD, Emperor Constantine moved the capital from Rome to Byzantium and named the city Constantinople. In 395 AD, the Roman Empire was split into the Western Roman Empire which is capital in Rome and the Eastern Roman Empire which is capital in Constantinople. In 476 AD, the West fell to invading armies. The Eastern Roman Empire held strong and many historians refer the empire as the Byzantine Empire even if the capital was Constantinople and even if the people were Greek, they considered themselves Roman. By 540 AD, the Byzantine Empire was able to recapture much of the old Western Roman Empire including Rome. Around the 10th century, the empire was weakened by continuous attacks from centuries of Muslim invasions. The Byzantine Empire collapsed in 1453 with the fall of Constantinople with the victory of the emerging Ottomans under Mehmed I. Many historians have all agreed that the fall of Constantinople plays a significant transition from the medieval period to the Renaissance. The city would remain the capital of the Ottomans for about five centuries and the Ottomans held the power to control the Silk Road and the trade between the East and the West. They would always be a hostile nation and this was what caused the Portuguese and the Spanish to explore the world around the Americas and Africa. Russia, a country historically limited to frigid waters, wanted warm water ports and so they fought with the Ottomans. In the Crimean War, Britain and France sided with the Ottomans against Russia so Russia, an already large country, would be limited to its frigid water ports. World War I came up as the Ottomans sided with the Axis. The Ottoman Empire collapsed after the war and in 1923, the Republic of Turkey had formed which changed the capital from Constantinople to Ankara. It is at this point of time when the city was renamed as Istanbul. Turkey then joined NATO in 1952. Istanbul has a rich history being the capital of three empires. Its strategic position helps the city in trade, economics and power. The city literally has more people than the entire population of Greece. Turkey being a NATO member gives another importance to Istanbul as it can weaken Russia's economy by just blocking the Bosphorus. I hope you learned something from this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And this is your host Ruel Levy and we will see you in the next video.